Hey everyone, Kenda Noun here, and we're going to watch a death battle. Pokemon vs. Digimon. Of course, like always, down in the description, there's a link to the original video. If you haven't watched it already, do so. And, yeah. So, this battle. Like I said when I saw it being announced, Pokemon is fucked. Charizard, yeah. I mean, the only chance that Charizard can have against Greymon is if they don't let Greymon did evolve past Greymon, then Charizard has a chance. But if they don't let Greymon do that, then yeah, that'd be bullshit. So, yeah. And note, I'm a person who likes Pokemon a lot. In fact, for this battle, like I did with Mega Man, though, with... Sorry that I didn't prepare for this. I'm going to have my Charizard amiibo behind me because... You know, I think you're gonna die, I'm gonna have him there. So, yeah. What? Yeah, like I... I'm just gonna go on a tangent here about how, why, why, probably someone... I don't know if in case anyone's wondering what I meant by me saying I don't like Digimon that much. Um, pretty much I rewatched it, though. Maybe the Japanese dub is better, maybe my problem was I was rewatching the four, the four kids dub, but was it four kids? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Where this was, pr this was pretty much the first episode of the English dub that I rewatched. Wait, Digimon! You're a Digimon? Yes, Digimon! What's a Digimon? A digital monster! A digital monster? Yes, a digital monster! What's a digital monster? A monster that's digital! A monster that's digital? Yes, a monster that's digital! Oh, such so a monster that's digital, that makes you a digital monster, That so that makes you a Digimon. Yes, a Digimon. Okay, Digimon. That was literally the entire first episode. And other episodes previously, uh, and episodes past that also had moments where they kept repeating shit. So, yeah, once again... Probably my problem was probably watching the English dub. I don't know. If anyone else you watch the Japanese dub, tell me. Please tell me it's not like that. So, yeah. Now that I've went on tangent and been speaking for two minutes. Yeah, let's just get to watching. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Lenovo Game State. Before you keep watching, head to LenovoGameState.com and leave a comment to build a video game the way you want it. Just click the yeah, link in the description not. below to get started, and be sure to use the hashtag GameState on social media to spread the word. So, season finale, I guess. Since the darkest depths of the human psyche first created monsters, we've dreamed of harnessing their awesome power, like Red and his Pokemon Charizard. And Ty and his Digimon Agumon. Is that He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and Damn skills to find better. out who would win a death battle. If you're an old man who's wasted his life doing God knows what, you may realize that you always wanted to catalog every animal in the world. But that would be a lot of work, so you probably would just bribe a kid to do it for you. So began the story of Red, an 11-year-old boy from Pallet Town. Red's mission was to challenge the gym leaders of uh, the Pokemon Kanto Legends. Region, defeat the Not as long as it should have been, it's just the only four episodes, of course, yes. capture all 150 currently known Pokemon. To do this, he needed a partner, a companion, a friend, a Pokemon. For obvious reasons, he chose the awesome Fire Dragon. It wasn't well, really a tough the way decision. He chose the thing is, my dad gave me the name Red, hoping that when I grew up, it would help me have the passion and energy of a red-hot fire. While exploring the world, Red and his Charmander began to grow and learn. Eventually, the little red lizard evolved into the 5'7", 200-pound mighty Charizard. Red's Charizard is his go-to Pokemon in battle, and he's taught him a variety of powerful moves. His flamethrower is hot enough to melt boulders, making it over 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. He can throw enemies around with seismic toss, beat the shit out of them with mega punch and mega kick, trap foes in a vortex of flame with fire spin, never miss stars with swift, and bring the heat even higher with the ultra-powerful fire blast. Being a trained Pokemon, there are dozens of other moves Red may have taught Charizard, including Blast Burn, the most powerful fire attack. 
Over the course of their adventure beating up lesser animals, Red and Charizard became more than just trainer and Pokemon. They became friends. Mm. And in the Pokemon world, a strong bond between trainer and monster can make crazy things happen. In Red's case, he unlocked the power of Mega Evolution. Mega Charizard X gets a major boost in attack, defense, and special attack, making him a far deadlier Pokemon than before. To add even more power, Mega Charizard X gains the Tough Claws ability, increasing the power of contact moves by 33%. But fighting with a Charizard has its own share of problems. Being a fire and flying type, a Charizard is weak to rock, electric, and water type attacks. And if the flame on the tip of Charizard's tail goes out, he dies. Man, that seems like the worst thing ever. I mean, could you imagine living in constant fear that, oh, I don't know, you'd get caught in the rain and die? Mm. Fortunately, a Charizard's tail flame burns so hot, not even water can douse it so easily. However, Charizard's battle strategy relies entirely on Red's decision and direction. Without his trainer, he would be as random and unfocused as a wild animal. Luckily, strategy is Red's specialty. Red is famous for not just his unbreakable faith in his Pokemon, but also his brilliant and sometimes unorthodox strategies in battle. While still only 11 years old, Red defeated Kanto's eight gym leaders, took down the criminal You're organization more than team just Rocket, and became the regional have a bad champion, chance they gave him a full all team. in less than a year. He's good, but he's also got one hell of a Pokemon I guess on his it side. On Charizards are proud with, warriors. Uh, they dislike the fighting weaker opponents and really enjoy a challenge. And Many well trained Charizards remakes. have won mm. tough battles against all odds. Ash Kansom's Charizard defeated an Articuno, and both his and Red's claimed victory in one-on-one -on -one duels with Blastoises. Blastai? The, the big the, the, the water turtle that's hard to beat. Apparently all Which, Pokemon's on paper, is should name. have an enormous advantage. But that's not the limit to the flame Pokemon's feats. Mega <laughs> Charizard X has gone toe to toe with legendary Pokemon capable of altering the planet, and Reds has even defeated Mewtwo, the most powerful psychic Pokemon known to man. After becoming the Kanto champion and catching over 150 Pokemon, Red and Charizard wandered the world, always training, always fighting. Until eventually they stopped at Mount Silver in Johto. Distancing themselves from the rest of the world for no real reason, Red and Charizard stood atop its peak, waiting for the day a new champion would rise to challenge them. Okay. Time for a Ty and Nakamon. One fateful summer day in 1995, Ty Kamiya, or Yagami Taichi in Japan, went to camp with his friends. It promised to be a summer of fun and youthful adventures. Then a rainbow hole opened up in the sky, shot Tamagotchis at everybody, and sucked them into cyberspace. Well, yeah, basically. When Ty woke up, he discovered he was a kid, apparently. To the digital world. <laughs> Where he met a bouncing pink blob that can talk. You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. Man, this show is weird. That's Koromon, a Digimon specifically created to be Tai's partner and friend. And to protect Tai from harm, Koromon learned how to digivolve, becoming the fire lizard Agumon. That's more like it. Agumon is a rookie level Digimon with deadly claws and a fire attack called Pepper Breath. Together with the other Digi-Destined, Tai and Agumon traverse the digital world, bringing balance to the chaos and destruction caused by several diabolical monsters. Including an Elvis Presley impersonator who was also a monkey. Now, let's get some straight, Sonny Boy. I'm the monarch of rock and roll. Your jobs will make me happy. Man, how high were they when they wrote this thing? As their opponents became more and more powerful, so did the friendship between Tai and Agumon. As their bond grew, so did their power and Agumon soon learned how to digivolve even further. First up is his champion form, First Greymon. up, they use the others. So yeah, Charizard is royally fucked. Charizard has no fucking chance. Sorry, Charizard, you're gonna die again. Probably the first person who'd ever die twice, I'm aware. He had the first person who died twice in this series. Agumon, digivolve, dude! Greymon! Digimon, 
Unlike Agumon, who can still pull off the whole cute and cuddly mascot thing, Greymon is two terrifying stories tall and way more powerful. Good luck snuggling up with that. Greymon is so strong, he is more than capable of trumping other champion level opponents in combat, especially with his trademark attack, Nova Blast. Next up is my favorite, Metal Greymon. Yeah, this form's got a robot a arm and shoots missiles. Metal Greymon also wears layers of chrome digizoid armor, the hardest metal in the digital world. Since the digital world is based on the real world, all real-life metals can exist in it as well, making Chrome Digizoid tougher than the likes of Tungsten, Steel, and Titanium. And finally, there's Agumon's Mega Level, War Greymon. Though he's a lot shorter than Metal Greymon for some reason, but it's a small package with a lot of punch. Quite literally, in fact. War Greymon wears two clawed gauntlets called the Draymond Destroyers, weapons which are extremely deadly against draconic foes. To add to his defense, he carries the Brave Shield on his back, which is capable of blocking attacks from other mega-level Digimon. We've come a long way from the annoying pink blob. War Greymon's ultimate attack is the Terra Force, where he puts all the energy from the atmosphere into a big ball of total annihilation. God damn, that is some Dragon Ball Z shit right there. But don't overestimate a Digimon's power. The Agumon line is weak to Earth Elemental attacks, and too much damage may exhaust him and force him back to a prior form. Also, while Agumon and his ascending forms can fight and think alone, his power comes directly from Tai. Without their connection, Digievolution would be impossible. Yeah, but Tai started off as kind of a selfish dick. He even tried to trick Greymon into Digivolving further, which ended in a skeletal monstrosity rampage. Well, he never wanted to come off that way. I didn't way, have a toy that was just too courageous for his own good. Not a big one like and a for those toy around like this him. Even as a child, his courage was unprecedented, promoting his strong relationship with Digimon in the first place. Over time, he learned the humility and responsibility necessary to successfully lead the Digidestined against Apoclamon, basically the physical embodiment of the Recycle Bin, mm. and saved both the digital and real worlds from being deleted forever. And with the universe saved, they donned suits to become UN diplomats to the digital world. Drugs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the combatants are set. Let's send this debate once and for all. But first, we've got a mission oh, for you. Hey! Do you want to make a video game? Eh. Well, then we have a mission for you. Lenovo oh, hooked up that. a few former AAA developers with the Lenovo Y series computer. They're making a, game, that takes a, lot of work They're making a 3D sci-fi tower <laughs> defense game based on your suggestions and feedback. Your mission is to click the link in the description to go to LenovoGameState.com and leave comments on the tile, Mission 2, Defend Your Territory. Leave your comments, questions, and suggestions to influence the direction of the game. Once you're done, be sure to spread the word on social media using the hashtag GameState. Let's build a game together with dragons or whatever you want. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Yeah, this is just going to be short. I mostly just pause because, you know, uh, for reasons for my video recorder, but, but pretty much, yeah, like I said before and after, Reddit's fucked, so let's just get into this. Ah, there's nothing better than a campfire and a golden, delicious marshmallow. Who's like a bunch of marshmallow? Who's that Pokemon? You 
killed my marshmallow! Whoa! You can talk? You must be really rare! Hey, Agumon. I got some... I choose you! Charizard! Uh, okay. <laughs> for it! Okay, buddy, go for it! Pepper Breath! That's that. <laughs> it's not over yet. I believe in Charizard. Whoa, he did you fall. No, this is Mega Evolution. Let's go, Mega Charizard. Dragon Claw. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably where Charles has a chance, but they mentioned the idea to do the evolution, so... Sorry! Agumon, no! Agumon, Warp Digivolve 2! Okay, this is uh, skipping uh, Metal Greymon, but uh, that's fine. War Greymon! What? It evolved again? Yeah! Now you'll see what a real mega form can do. Charizard, take him out quick! <laughs> Fire blast! Great <laughs> shield! Dragon claw! <laughs>
Yep, I... Yeah. Ooh. I was right, but I did like seeing Red die. Oh god. Oh, that was rough. Kyo! Ow! My childhood! Charizard yes, may have started out with versus Definitely. Advantage, but the difference in power between uh. the two only grew as the battle went on. First, when comparing the trainers, Red's bond with Charizard was strong enough to Mega Evolve, but like most Pokemon, their relationship is still one of master and... well... Slave! Come on, you know it's true! I know there's the bond of friendship and whatever, but when Red's through with Charizard, it's back to the tiny spherical prison. Ty and Agumon, on the other hand, are best friends on equal footing, and Agumon's mm. fighting power comes directly from Ty. Yeah, these kids were called the Digi-Destined for a reason, and together they had enough power to stop an attack which could have wiped out both the digital and real worlds. And this is the power Agumon's using to Digivolve. Charizard's flame could melt boulders, but that's hardly comparable to Chrome Digizord armor. Hell, Metal Greymon alone is officially documented as possessing the power of a nuclear warhead. And War Greymon has weapons specifically designed to kill dragons. Honestly, mm. it all comes down to a huge difference between Pokemon and Digimon itself. The escalation of evolution. Pokemon evolution improves monsters in increments, whereas the gap between Digimon forms is often massive and quite frankly absurd. In the end, Red and Charizard couldn't even hope for as much as a tie. The winner mm. is the Digimon. Yeah, that was good. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Chad. I play Boomstick. I'm Thor. I'm a 3D animator. And I'm Ben. I play Wiz. You're so, like, nonchalant. You're like, oh, wait, I'm 3D. I'm gonna to I just to animate cool. this cool stuff. I'm yeah. just surprised I'm still alive. I just killed Charizard. <sighs> You're the worst. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> blame him. Blame him. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for all of your support throughout the season. It's been crazy. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching this awesome season two finale. We are going to be out just for like a couple months. We'll be coming back with a season three in March. But for the meantime, mm. we want this guy to get some sleep. He works yes. way too hard. We want to try and okay, use that time so to get ahead and uh, get a lot of another one. for season three. If you want to keep up with us uh, during the break, <laughs> you can follow us on our own social media as well as follow at ScrewAttack on Twitter or official essay on Facebook, and we'll let you guys know the exact date when uh, Death Battle's coming back. Speaking so. of uh, social media, we've also got our actors, voice actors, social media in the description below. You can check that out. And one of them, Nate wants to battle you may have heard of him he's around the youtubes he did some of the battle music nate wants to battle did battle music for death battle it's great it's perfect he did death battle he did battle music for death battle pokemon battle thank okay. you nate we'll yeah, see you guys so. later thanks looking forward to sharing an epic season three with you guys battle inception Thanks again to Lenovo for helping to make this episode of Death Battle possible. Make sure to head to LenovoGameState.com and leave your feedback on the tile Mission 2 Defend Your Territory. Then spread the word on social media with the hashtag Game. So, killed it. But, yeah. Even though, like I said, I was right here and, yeah. That, despite me saying that they didn't have a chance, that fight will... And you know they need they can't make the fight look like a curve stop. Mo uh, unlike it's most of the time, like the one example was him that's a star screen. But yeah, since they despite them not making it a curve stomp, that it definitely would have been. I well maybe not a curve stomp. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But yeah, but uh poor Charizard, you're the only person to die twice, and the third to get the second chance. But yeah. Yeah, but the fight, that was definitely an awesome fight. Uh, poor, I have a feeling that in my, in like, let's see, this is like the seventh episode since Goku Superman 2, so, in 18 episodes, so sometime in, tw so probably sometime in 2017. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that this is probably going to be in the top 10, but, hey, there's only 7 out of 25, that will be, that will be possible for that list, so... Yeah, we'll see what. Anyways, yeah. Guess we're not doing that death battle too much, so. Yeah, bye. <laughs>